Ladies and Mr. Gentlemen, today we're going to do something a little bit different, and this is something we haven't done for a while, uh, something we thought up on stream, follow the stream by the way, twitch.tv slash MrGM, and basically we're going to break down the features preview for Shadowlands. Obviously this came out during BlizzCon, and I was at BlizzCon so I didn't get a chance to do so, so yeah, it, I've named it 10 things missed, is it going to be 10? Probably not, it's going to be 5, maybe 15, 20, who knows? If you're keeping count at home, let me know. But we're going to go through this, break it down, see some stuff that you might not have seen the first time around. I've gone through, paused it, had a look. We're going to see what we can find inside this trailer, which is pretty damn good. The trailer's pretty damn good, the, the features trailer. There's not a ton of features listed in it, funnily enough, but there's a lot of missable details, which we're going to take a look at uh, right now. So let's just jump straight into it. The Jailer of the Damned. A grim task. Which I have failed. Now okay, so this is obviously Ice Crown post breaking of the Helm of Domination. Now these videos are created using in-game assets and that skybox right there has been pretty much confirmed to be the skybox of most of Northrend post 9.0 Obviously, after you've done the intro scenario or whatever that is, there's actually a screenshot of someone who did manage to get out of the area during BlizzCon. So that is that screenshot right there. You can see they're in Crystal Song Forest. This is the skybox, and it looks absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's kind of that brand new painted effect, which they've been using for a few things. They used it in Nylotha, and as you can see here, it is just absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, let's just uh, carry on and see what we can see. Oh, the Eternal Veil screams. Torn asunder by her. Within the realm of shadow lies the darkest of terrors, which should never be set free. So, this is an interesting scene. I actually don't know where this is. Now, I originally thought it was on Ice Crown or in the Throat and Throne. But it doesn't really look like it. Look at the skybox. Look at the area around. There's like hills and mounds and, and Frozen Throne is pretty much flat. And I know with the actual cinematic, it kind of looked like the Jailer was coming down uh, from the Shadowlands. But yeah, a little bit interesting here. Not 100% on where this is. This could be inside the moor. This could be the Frozen Throne. It could be shared. It could be a different area that they've used. Not really sure. Uh, let me know down below where you think it is. I think it might be the moor, honestly. I think she's going to see the Jailer after ripping open the veil to the Shadowlands. The Shadowlands are infinite. So you get our first look here at some of these zones of the Shadowlands. This is Maldraxxus, which is basically like Eastern Plaguelands or Western Plaguelands pumped up to a million. It's going to be an absolutely nuts zone. You've got two little spiders here. Not really a lot to talk about with those spiders. So let's just, yeah, let's just continue and see if there's actually anything worth talking about. Errors and beauty were never meant for mortal eyes. I love the rabbits. Look at these rabbits. These are brand new rabbit models uh, with glowy little ears and eyes. Yeah, pretty cool. Not a lot of other NPCs in this area, though. There's one right at the back left there, if you look carefully. Kind of looks like another rabbit. Not a ton of massive creatures in this shot, which I believe is Ardenweld, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder if they can bear to behold all that awaits them. So I love this creature right here. This is one of the creatures in Torghast. You can see the art of Torghast. There's a few little concept pieces here and there, and they've spoken about it, that the design of Torghast, the Tower of the Damned, is very similar to the kind of art assets of Ice Crown. You can see right here, this dude looks straight out of Ice Crown Citadel. He's got that kind of those kind of rune patterns on the belt there just at the bottom and the design of it the spiky silvery kind of a little bit rustic design is absolutely perfect and very much like the helm of domination and the lich king's armor a very similar design and i think we're going to see a lot of that in the armor designs for the shadowlands and i'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with all of that because we've seen a few other creatures as well uh, and as you go through the trailer you see a few other creatures which are using that very similar design with the kind of metal with the runes kind of engraved in them as well it's it's, it's, it's kind of nice. It's something we haven't seen for a very long time in WoW. So this dude here, this is the one I use on the thumbnail because I noticed this and this is kind of the origin of the video because I was watching this and I was thinking, huh, this is kind of interesting. So 
We look at this dude here, he's a Venthyr, I believe, of Ravendreth, and that's one of the Covenants. He's obviously inspired by a vampire, and the whole zone of Ravendreth is kind of like gothic and vampiric, and kind of a little bit like Gilneas as well. But the biggest takeaway here, these guys right here, I believe, use the rigging of a Night Elf or a Nightborn. You'll see in another clip in a moment the way that they stand is very similar to that. And the one thing I noticed with this guy is that he's wearing a long coat. You can see that kind of long coat design we've seen in Kul Tiras, and as of BFA, the only creatures that support long coats are Kul Tirans, humans, and now Worgans in 8.3. This could be the beginning of other player characters being able to support long cloaks, and hopefully items that start to drop will use that sort of design, because I think the long coats look so good. And even since the beginning of BFA, we've been begging for every character to have them, because they're just an awesome design. And with the new technology they use for, you know, capes and chests and all sorts of stuff like that, it's relatively easy for them to do using the collections tech that they have so so yeah if it fits a venthyr it's gonna fit a night elf it's gonna fit a nightborn and potentially we could see this opening up into other races as well so that's pretty darn exciting i just wanted to point that out This as well, actually, if you look really carefully, I've kind of paused it at a weird point, but the guy driving this horse and carriage, he looks like, like a, a little Quasimodo or like something we haven't seen before. I, I thought it was a member of the Venthyr, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a random kind of minion, sort of like Dr. Frankenstein sort of thing. Not really sure, kind of interesting. I want to see these guys up close. So we'll definitely see more of these guys once we jump into Alpha and Beta. But yeah, new little model there hidden in this little frame here. So there he is. And this is what I was saying about before with the Venthyr and their standing animations. Very similar to a Nightborn, very similar to a Night Elf. Pretty sure that's what they are anyway. If you if you think they are something different, do let me know. But that kind of standing up with the shoulders back and the head very upright is a very Nightborn kind of Night Elf kind of position that they like to be in. I think there are some new animations for these guys as well. But the actual rigging and what they're based off kind of looks like a Night Elf or a Nightborn. Then you get the Night Fae of Ardenweld. Uh, these are pretty much, I believe, based on a Draenei female. And at the back there, eagle-eyed viewers will notice, there is a mount. There is a brand new toolbuck base mount right at the back there with the awesome horns. Really nice armor, really nice design on it. Potentially the Night Fae and Ardenweld mount from being their covenant. So yeah, there it is at the back. Looks really cool. We've seen these creatures running around Ardenweld as well in this trailer just before this scene. So yeah, there is uh, a little sneak peek at potentially the Ardenweld mount. So yeah, that's uh, that's nice. But yeah, these guys, again, as I said, potentially Draenei female based off of uh, by the way that they stand, the sit, the animations and stuff. A really cool looking model though. I really, really like the look of these, uh, these Ardenweld guys. Now, Badraxxus is a really interesting one. It's so different to the rest, and you can see these kind of undead-looking guys here. Not 100% on what these are based off. You actually do see the speech animation here. I'm just going to loop that. Not 100% on what they're based on here. I don't know if it's a new model. I don't think so. I think it's based off some sort of player model. They do look very, very cool, though, and I love the designs of their gear. It's kind of like a lich or like a something from Nax Ramus or very Scourge-like, and... As I said before, Maldraxxus is based off of like Eastern Plague Lands, Western Plague Lands. Like it's, it's just kind of pumped up to a million and it's going to be really insane. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this zone has to offer. So yeah, let's just continue on. So here we have Bastion and the Kyrian. Uh, this scene in particular, you have that guy in the back, which is based off of Pandar, and we did actually look at him inside of the BlizzCon demo, wandering around, and we can kind of get that kind of vibe off him. The Kyrian themselves, the blue guys that look like kind of Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen, uh, we believe they're based off the Vical, which means they do support gear. You can see a few of them in this trailer supporting gear, helms, shoulders, chests, legs, boots, everything. Potentially an allied race right there. Very, very potential i mean the, if they are based off an original race that already has their helms and shoulders mapped out then yeah for them for blizzard it's not a ton of work to get it working as an allied race so it's definitely potential they didn't really talk a lot about allied races at blizzcon but yeah there's definitely some 
possible allied race there for the Kyrian, uh, the blue people, if you've seen them around. They're kind of like, look a little bit like spirit healers. And also these little uh, two tigers here as well. You have these Kyrian lions, which look really cool. I don't know if there's a mount version of them right now, but yeah, you can see them wandering forward in this scene and uh, obviously just based off the tiger models. And they look really, really nice. And they're using that really cool design that the Bastion and the Kyrian use throughout the zone and throughout their armor. This area here, actually, that is for the Covenant of Bastion, looks so much like Skyhold, like a kind of, a kind of a white version of Skyhold from Legion, that the uh, the Warrior class will. But yeah, I think I think the Covenant areas are going to be really cool. You actually get a really good preview of all four of them right here. So you have the Bastion one, then it rolls into the next one and the next one. But yeah, you get a really you get a really good look at what these Covenant areas currently look like as of obviously when they made this trailer. So they are subject to change, of course. But yeah, it's, aesthetically they look absolutely fantastic and. I love the differences thematically between the different covenants. I think that's one of the big, I think that's one of the coolest features of this expansion. Just like so much variation uh, in those covenants. So yeah, so let's take a quick look at some of the covenant areas. Are the key to restoring the balance between life and death, if their trust can be earned. And you actually get a uh, little preview right there of the plate gears for each of the Covenant as well. Uh, you can see these in the press website. They've actually said that these are the plate armors for each of the Covenants. And yeah, pretty darn nice. Looking really, really nice. They're making a ton of new sets for this expansion. Unfortunately, tier sets will not be returning, but there will be some Covenant themed sets and obviously some raid sets as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing what those look like. As I said, those are the plate armors as of right now for the four covenants and i think they look great honestly I, I like the way that they've kind of embraced the design of each of the covenants so yeah that's uh not too bad and hopefully i don't know how hard they're going to be to get either it shouldn't be too hard we actually get another good look at this uh that cat model that i was talking about earlier uh just patrolling there in front looks really nice this is actually a preview for the Dungeons and Raids. It looks like the kind of Dark Armor Bastion NPCs might be like an evil version of the Kyrian. I'm not really sure. I believe every zone in the Shadowlands has two raids per zone. So thematically, you'll have a Bastion raid, you'll have a Raven Dress raid, etc, etc. So yeah, this looks like kind of, you see the Darker Armor on the Kyrian. Potentially they're the bad boys of Bastion. I'm not really sure. This is just another look at Torgas. As you can see, again, the design of the area is very similar to Ice Crown, and I really am such a fan of the design of this tower, and I'm really looking forward to it. I really hope it is a good feature, because it is one of the selling features of this expansion. So yeah, this is a really nice look at Torgas, actually. You see some of the NPCs as it scales up in this next scene. You'll see some of that kind of Lich Kingy Helmel Domination armor design in these NPCs as well, but it does go past pretty fast, so I'm not going to pause it because it'll just be blurry. So yeah, here you go. Okay, so this scene is pretty interesting. I know a lot of people have been breaking it down and talking about who is the Jailer and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm not a law guy. That's not something I'm going to do. But one thing to notice here, actually, is the NPCs around Sylvanas. Now, in 8.3, spoilers, Ilganoth says about some ravens. He says, When their mistress beacons, nine ravens take flight. Each seeks a prize to earn her favor. Now, in this scene, there is four ravens. And they're not really ravens, but you can kind of you know, get the idea that they're sort of like ravens. Maybe that's a reference to that. I don't know specifically, but you actually, if you do pause it, just... right about here, you get the probably the best look of the Jailer that you could possibly get as of right now. So you can see here the head at the top with the two glowing eyes, the helm, people are saying about it looking like King Terranus. I actually think it looks very similar to one of the Death Knight helms from Legion, uh, but not exactly the same. I think it is a new design. Or even the Crown of Eternal Winter, which is one of the discontinued store helms. The shoulder pads there are really, really cool. They've got this kind of chain coming down on them. You can see the arms there, very skinny. They did confirm that the Jailer is a male. Um, the body looks kind of undead. You see the, the very skinny waist and like huge shoulders, thin arms, big gloves. This character is such a mystery and I cannot wait to see what becomes of it in 
Shadowlands. It's going to be a ton of fun, and yeah, so let's just get to the, the end bit. So yeah, the ravens and all that. Beginning. And there we go. That is the end of the trailer. So I hope I did okay. I hope I showed you some stuff that you might not have noticed the first time around. If you notice anything specific, do let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this trailer, what you initially, you know, we're a week out of having this trailer presented to us. If your thoughts have changed, if you, we know any more information, very cool. Looking forward to kind of figuring out the mysteries of this features trailer because we didn't get a ton of footage and we only got a small section of Bastion when we uh, actually got the chance to play at BlizzCon. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you'd like to, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner's Discord channel with over 3,000 members, and I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. I've been streaming Classic, been streaming Retail, PTR, everything World of Warcraft. If you do want to check me out on stream, twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys... I'll see you next time.